Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I'm going to show you today how I took this vase, and you probably have one of these sitting around. If not, you can try this on a glass jar, and I turned it into a really pretty vase with decoupage and air dry clay. So let me show you how I did that. And this has been handled quite a bit, so there's some fingerprints on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is just take some alcohol and put it all over the outside of this to remove any type of oil or anything like that from it. Clean it up. I added a little baby powder into this mold and I'm using the DOS air dry clay. And the reason that I put that baby powder in there is because it helps the clay come out. This is an IOD mold, which you can only get from certain retailers. So I can't put a link to it down below, but it really is a superior mold. So if you can Google this and find out where you can get the IOD molds in your area, they've got some beautiful molds and they're much easier to work with than other molds. Now, I wanted to let you know that my trick is I put this in the freezer for a half an hour, and then when I take it out, it pops right out. It looks beautiful. It's much easier to get out. Now I let these sit for about a half an hour until they became moldable because you want them to dry in the shape of the item you're working with. You don't want to dry them flat and then not be able to put them over your surface. So I just used a light tack tape and I put them down where I wanted them to dry. Now before I get started on what we're working on today, I did want to show you that I attempted this on the inside of a vase and you can see that there are all of these spots in here. Uh, I'm using an emerald green tissue paper, which is really rich and beautiful in color. I did not care for the way this came out at all. Uh, it almost looks like there's air bubbles in it. So I am working I tried, by the way, matte medium, and that also, I don't like the way it looked on the inside. So I decided to do this on the outside, and this way you can still use the vase for real flowers if you want to. So once this air dry clay had dried overnight, I removed it from my vase. It did take overnight, but it formed nicely over to my surface. I actually broke this piece, which is not a problem. It's very easy to glue it together. And then what I did was I made sure that I had all of the paper cut before I got started because your fingers are going to get very sticky. You don't want to decide that you need to cut more paper when you're in the middle of this project. So I used about two or three full sheets and I'm using the Deco the decoupage glue by Royal Coat, and I'm going to use a spray bottle. First, I'm going to just take some alcohol, and once again, I'm going to go around the whole vase to make sure I remove any oils. And I poured my decoupage glue into a little separate container. <laughs> my dog is having a sneezing fit. And then I made sure that I had a spray bottle of water and my bristle brush, which made this a lot easier. And all I did was I continued to add strips and I overlapped them. And I did discover it was a lot easier that instead of using longer strips to do shorter strips, especially if you'll notice in this area where the glass bends, it started to tear a lot, which was okay since I was able to uh, fix that up. It was a lot easier to just work with smaller strips like I'm doing here. Now I slowed this down for just a second because I want to show you something. I put the decoupage glue down. I then added the paper and a little bit of decoupage glue and then that fine mist of water, which does weaken the paper a little bit, but it also helps it to sink into the curve. Just don't go over it too much like I'm doing here. I've completed one whole side here. You can see that it looks a little messy, but that's going to dry clear, and I'm going to file off those edges around the top when I'm all done. But for now, I'm going to go around the rest of this vase and finish this doing the same exact thing. And down around the bottom here, 
I took some other strips because the glass curved again and some of the paper I found was tearing pretty easily. So I just added a few more strips around the base going in the opposite direction. And then I just continued with this and I put it over a heat vent to dry and I left it overnight. There's a lot of decoupage glue and paper on here so I wanted to make sure, make sure this dried thoroughly. And here you can see the next day it is dry. So what I did was I took a nail file and I filed all of the excess away on top. And now that everything's dry, I took these clay pieces that had dried overnight and I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue because the hot glue dries immediately and the E6000 takes longer to dry. Before I did that, I decided I wanted to put some real copper foil on this. This is an adhesive tape that's genuine copper. Now you can't really see it in the end because I have flowers in it and you can skip this step. I just wanted you to see what I did here in case you notice a little copper around the top in the end of the video. And this was after I had glued everything down and I'm going to leave this to dry for a little bit. But I'm also, right now it's okay if I do this, I'm going to take a piece of wrapping paper. And if you'll notice, this paper is obviously, or this pattern is a little too intricate to cut out each and every section. So I'm just going to kind of cut a shadow of the actual pattern. I'm just going to go around each of these little sections. Let me fast forward and show you what I mean. So you see I followed the pattern. I just didn't get into all of these grooves. I also wanted to show you this little thing that I found on Amazon. I'll put a link down below for this. Look at this little magnifying a pair of glasses. They can go on over your glasses or you can just wear them. And if you do any kind of needlepoint, the decoupage cutting, uh, fine paintwork, even just for reading, you put these on, they can go over your glasses. They've got a light on them and they've got all of the, these different strengths of magnification. And that light is rechargeable, just same way you would recharge your phone. And it comes in this cool little kit. I think it's less than $15. So that's a pretty good deal. And I was excited to get these. I didn't realize how much I had been squinting while I was cutting. So, Okay, back to the vase. Here's the piece of wrapping paper that I cut out and I'm going to put it in the center. I thought I recorded it and unfortunately I did not. Sorry about that, but all I did was I added the paper down and since this is on a curve, I did use small scissors in order to cut into certain areas. So as soon as it looked like it was about to wrinkle, and this is wrapping paper, so uh, it was a little easier to cut than if you were using napkins. I cut into those spaces where it looked like it was going to wrinkle. And you can't really tell. I just laid this down flat. I applied the decoupage glue over it. And one thing that you did not see me do, unfortunately, is I wet this paper first with a very fine mist of water, and then I blotted it so that the paper was now much more pliable because it's wrapping paper. And rather than it being crisp and you just lay it down, if you spritz it or spray it with a very fine mist of water and then blot it, it's a lot easier to work with. And one last thing that I did, I took my flexible toothbrush and I dipped it in some, in some paint and fl flicked it all around the piece, but there's one little trick to this. You want to make sure you dip the brush and then splatter it off onto a surface where you don't mind uh, because it can come out pretty heavy. You can get streaks and strands, which I don't mind, but even this was a little bit too much of a streak or strand. And I was going a little bit more for splatters, uh, more like dots, tiny little dots. But I ended up loving the way it came out anyway. And now that I am all done and this piece has dried, here is what the vase looks like. Now, I think this is a big improvement over the piece of glass 
vase that you find all over the thrift stores. I will use this and reuse this over and over again. And I hope this sparks some creative ideas for you. You might wanna start out with a glass jar of any size first and see if you can come up with some ideas between the air dry clay and the decoupage and your own colors. And guys, that is our video for the week. Thanks a lot for tuning in. The links are down below. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, all of that stuff. I never say that and I'm always being told, you got to remind people to subscribe. So there it is, guys. <laughs> and again, links are down below. Hope you guys are doing well. I will see you soon. Don't forget, Patio Elf is on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow that page, you will be notified every time I put a video out, just in case YouTube misses you. All right, guys. Thanks again, my friends. See you real soon. Bye-bye.